And so when I first got the email about coming back to campus and having to wear the mask and not being able to go to every single class, I was kind of reluctant to come back because I knew that not every single person on campus was gonna follow the rules that were laid out for them and there might have been a breakout. I had a lot of questions. I really didn't know what was going to happen and I wasn't too sure how classes were going to work. All I really knew was that there was going to be more restrictions, uh, we were going to have to follow social distancing rules, and really this is my first year at the university so I really didn't know it too well and that caused a lot of confusion for me. When I first got the email in March, I was very shocked, shall I say because the pandemic was a surprise to all of us. But getting an email saying we're not returning to campus and we're doing school virtually was a bigger surprise to me. So due to COVID, the only part of my routine that has changed really is the fact that my first two years of college, I had to get up and like leave my room and go to class, but the teachers got the okay to make face-to-face -face class non-mandatory, like we don't really have to go into class, we just do it virtually. So I just log on to my laptop and attend there. When I finish my classes at the end of the day, I just go right into doing my chores and maintaining the house. I don't really finish until late in the evening. After that, I just go into doing my homework or doing assignments that are due that day. routine has changed because I used to wake up, go to school, spend most of my day in a library, go to study groups and tutoring. But now it's kind of hard to do that. Um, it changed what I knew was normal. Um, it changed the way I went to prep football practice. It changed the way we met. It changed the way assignments were due. It changed the way I studied. It really changed the way my assignments were formatted. It really changed everything. I would rather have them in person. Virtual classes, um, I feel like it was just an excuse to double the workload and to explain the assignment less. I hate my life. The amount of assignments we have during a pandemic is uh, utterly embarrassing. And I feel like we've lost sight of the fact that we're in a global pandemic and certain assignments don't matter, but that's for a Flabbergasting. Every day I wake up and wonder, hmm, how is this school gonna stump me with a new policy, a new principal, and I'm flabbergasted by the result and the answer. I feel like online classes have been a bad impact on my learning because I'm a face-to-face -face learner, I'm a hands-on learner, and being that we can't do anything face-to-face -face or hands-on with a professor, it doesn't give me any determination to do any of my assignments, so I end up missing a lot of assignments, but it is what it is. The way that online classes have impacted my learning is that it was required of me to self-discipline myself with assignments to make sure that I knew what assignments were due and which ones I had to do that day. For me, that's not a problem with self-discipline. What was a problem was that I'm not able to fully understand the subject that's being taught. Uh, sometimes I'll have a lot of questions for my professor, but it's harder to get a hold of them because they're usually busy going right to the next class. So, um, online learning is still good, but it's not really an improvement for me. Online classes have impacted my learning because like I've said, I'm a visual and kinesthetic learner. 
So some things I will get looking at it. But other things I need to use my hands in order to understand what's going on. And you can't do that when your classes are online. So personally, I think the pandemic will eventually go away and die down, but not anytime soon. And that really is just because I see people walk around every day not social distancing, not having the masks on, and that just doesn't prevent the spread of anything. That just increases how many people can get it in your area. I feel as if my mental state has actually decreased over the past few months. Uh, I have not been able to focus well in my classes, and I really can't remember the last time I've had a decent eight hours of sleep. Uh, so really, I don't think my mental state is at the best right now, or has been for the past few months or so. So is my mental health improving? No. Is it getting worse? Maybe. Is it going to get better? I don't know. I believe 2021 will be different in a way when it comes to online courses. Like, I'm not sure if we'll be back on campus in spring semester or fall semester, but if there is, hopefully they found a way to work with all learning types instead of just one. That would be like the best bet to me. I'm not too sure how 2021 is going to be. What I do hope is that there's a good change coming soon. I really want this pandemic to end so that we can enter back to this norm that we're used to. However, um, there's going to be some changes regardless. Uh, even if things do get better, even if there is a change, we're either going to see ourselves in the best light or in the worst light. But all I know is that we're not going to be the same in the year coming or even years after that.